welcome to this Gagliardini investment video. Basically, I've been doing a bit of digging on the FIFA market, and it turns out since um, Gagliardini has been given an upgrade due to his one to watch card, we have noticed something major in the game that kind of suspects that price ranges need to be looked at yet again. So, if you can smash the likes, would be awesome. Sub to the channel if you're new, follow me on Twitter at G is a Legend. All the links are down below for playlists on the channel and social media links. So, Gagliardini has a very interesting player range. Um, you can buy his card for 150, 200 and 250 coins. Now the reason being is his bronze original card is a 61 rated and I believe going on that assumption they have forgot to adjust his price range. So as you can see here, um, Gagliardini you can buy him for 150 quite easily. Um, like You can put a bid on him for 150 I should say. But you, I have been trying to snipe him quite a few times with no success for um, 200 or 250 I have um, been trying and cards have popped up for 200 and 250 coins but I've just been unsuccessful and just to actually reiterate this um, his Atlanta original card is 61 rated and that is no longer in the market and same for the 61 inter card that is not in the market either so whatever ones you see of his bronze card is worth nabbing now his one to watch card um, has a price range of 9.1k um, to, um, to around 70,000 coins so like he has got a wide price range for a one to watch card but like I feel um, in terms of investing with the card if you can get any cheap on his one to watch card then it is worth having it's like 15-20k I think for his one to watch card for what I've seen for a standard price and but the card that you really, the cards that you really want are his bronze um, Atlanta and Inter Milan cards because they could prove useful at some point in um, FIFA. But the gold um, normal card is 75 rated, and the lowest bin generally is 450 coins. I've seen plenty 350, 400 pop up, and they get pretty much snapped within like 30 seconds. But this is quite an interesting analysis. I wonder how long it's going to take them to actually adjust this price range because at the moment I can see potential profits worthwhile in this card, especially have if you buy it for less than 300 and you're going to make profit. What do you find this useful? Let me know in the comments down below what you think of this. If we can smash the likes, it would be awesome. Sub to the channel if you're new. Follow me on Twitter, G is Take it easy, and I'll see you all later.